lot of people have doubts which mode of IELTS examination should I select it's a either it should be a pen and paper based or a computer based a wrong decision always leads to losing of your precious marks so in this video I am going to explain to you my experience of writing a computer based examination you can see my score in the top also uh, the advantages and disadvantages of both the methods so watch the full video and you are in Joel's Big C When I joined the IELTS Coaching Institute, uh, I gave my first mock examination and my tutor corrected my paper and she told that there are a lot of mistakes and especially she mentioned one thing was that my handwriting was so bad, so uh, like my some words were not clear, some letters she couldn't uh, understand, you know, and she was assuming that it's this word and this letter. So she suggested me that why don't you go for a computer based examination mode so for, at first I was a little bit hesitant you know because in mo most of my friends in that institute they were they all were pen and paper based and I will be the one man you know <laughs> like doing computer based but I took this challenge next week I wrote a mock examination on the computer and I concluded that this pen and paper based you know it had you know a handwriting problem Second thing, time problem was there and also a lot of mistakes were there. But in, in computer based, only mis some mistakes and time problem was there. But I don't need to remember, I don't need to care about that, my handwriting itself. So without any, what we say, whatever happens, happens. I just took computer based as my mode, as my um, main. And I wrote the examination and that changed my life. So I just want to say, you know, uh, if you are joining uh, IELTS Institute, first you know you decide you know pen which one which is comfortable for you pen and paper based or computer based. Don't listen to your what we say your friends. You know they might you know for me also a lot of friends told Joel uh, you just uh, you know they advised me they didn't say in a negative manner but they advised me you know that they have heard you know computer based a lot of people failed. Uh, a lot of people might uh, you know you might it might be a little bit difficult it might make take a lot of time but it's actually it's not like that okay it's totally dependent on your practice what practice you give so don't listen to your friends what they say but just believe just try for yourself okay try both the modes and which is more comfortable for you which is more easy for you you go with that okay that is because you know at last what that matters is that in IELTS examination it is not what mode of examination do you take it what matters is that the presence of your mind how comfortably you're writing the examination because here you're not just mugging up uh, your ex books some books and going and writing but you are you know putting whatever the question is asked you it's like a problem solving you should solve at that this amount with this amount of time this you need to solve so the more what more you take you know it should not affect your presence of mind or your uh, problem solving ability now let's go to the advantages and disadvantages part of pen and paper based and computer based pen and paper based as you know if you have a good handwriting okay uh, you know you can absolutely go for pen and paper based um, then also uh, <clears throat> because you know a bad handwriting as I told earlier if some words or letters you know the uh, the teacher didn't understand you won't get marked for that or the, the person who corrects the paper didn't understand you won't get marked for that and secondly uh, trans you, you will get a transfer 10 minutes transfer time that is in listening and reading when you write you you will be allowed to only write the answers in the question paper so after that after that more reading and uh, re listening section completed you know you will be given 10 minutes to uh, put a uh, complete write your answers to the answer sheet so you know I think some additional time you know you are getting for that but for computer based you know you will get just two time two minutes just for checking itself because in computer based we are typing the answers on the questions it's question on the question near to the question blank itself so that is one uh, advantage of pen and paper based and then some disadvantage I can say you know the result that's the one uh, you know great disadvantage of pen and paper based it will take around 14 to 15 days 15 days is max I can say 15 days is the maximum and it will take 15 days to uh, for the result to be published published and then as I told my earlier problem you know if you have a very bad handwriting you know you can't go for this one okay and also there is you know if, if you can't count the uh, the words word count matters in each section for example 
in writing section uh, i think there's a limit for this much amount of words only you can write if you extend that you know sometimes you won't be getting marked for that so uh, so what happens is that we can't you know sometimes you know we can't count the each and uh, we can't count each and every word in that essay you know it will take a lot of time but in computer based you know you don't need to remember you don't need to at least remember about that you know there will be a word count given how much words you have written uh, typed you know the word count will be shown over there so these are some disadvantages and advantages of pen and paper based and now coming to the computer based part you know some advantages are you know 3 to 5 days this is the main advantage of computer based examination that is it will take 5 days max maximum 5 days to for your result to publish so it is really less you know compared to pen and paper based and uh, also word count as i said before you know the word count will be displayed uh, then you can highlight the text over here for example in reading part you know you some uh, you know if you see any important word or a term you can just highlight it so highlighted part is a great thing but in pen and paper based you can't highlight those words and uh, then one advantage is i have seen is that you know computer based you know since people opt are opting for computer based are very less so exam slots lot of exam slots you can get and also um, the readings in reading uh, reading section you know the, the reading section uh, the questions will be the reading passage will be shown on the right side and the questions will be on the left side so you can you know compare and read so it will be a little more easier also you can increase the font size so that will be more you know uh, you know that's a real advantage because since you are using a computer and then one great advantage is that a copy paste option is there for example in uh, read i told in writing part you know uh, this was the main problem for me that's why i opted another main problem for me that's why i opted for computer based you know if one line okay for example in the first line i wrote a point and then i felt okay this line should be in the fifth so fifth line okay i can't i need to you know erase the first line okay and uh, and i need to write down that in the fifth line so it might take a lot of time but in uh, computer based you only need to copy that and paste over the fifth line and if you want to remove a word in between you can just backspace it it's so simple you don't need any time consuming it's not much time consuming so these are some advantages of computer based some disadvantages to computer based examination is one is there is lack of software the software is not free to download uh, so uh, so if you have not a well practice in this software you know sometimes you might lose some marks also uh, typing mistakes for example there is no grammarly installed in those computer examinations so you know if you are typing speed you know if you are typing typed a word it is not auto corrected okay so you know typing mistakes might happen then type, typing speed also it is said that for pen and paper based you, know, you should have 31 words per minute average speed and for computer based they said that 40 words per minute so typing speed really matters so this is all it about the advantages and disadvantages so um, all the best for your examination so just take care of this one and thanks for watching my video